Having heard so much about the Canadian wildlife, it was time to see some more of it. So I hit the road from Kamloops and made tracks for a place called Blue River. It's about halfway to Jasper. The drive seems to be like every other one in this country. Really scenic. It takes you into the big river and forest country that the Canadian wilderness is known for. It's also the habitat of one of the other things that this place is famous for, bears. They say you haven't truly experienced Canada unless you've seen a bear in the wild. And like most things in life, there's no guarantees you're gonna see one just driving around. The best chance I have of encountering one is with Clyde. Hey Clyde. Hey, Morgan, good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. Are we going to see some bears today? You bet we're going to see oh, some bears today, Morgan. Man. That's why we're here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there, that a boy. Come on. There we go. Come here. Is that a bear dog? He's a bear dog. He's been with us for eight years. Wow. And uh, he's trained, well trained for spotting bears. So if you're going to find bears, he's this is the dog you want. Yeah, you just watch him. This is wild man country. It's a part of Canada where the folks are tough and their dogs are even tougher. And you really have to be living here. It's far from the luxury of the city and a place where if you get lost in the wilderness, you'll be lucky to get through the night. But it's the rugged landscape and incredible mountain vistas that draw people here. pine forest covers the countryside and within the dense cover lurks all sorts of wildlife. Deer, elk, moose, black and grizzly bears roam freely through the woods and it's the job of Clyde and his crew to give the visitors like me an up-close encounter with some of the resident animals, particularly bears. But hey, it's worth doing the tour just for the spectacular scenery. The bear population in this area is so high that you're pretty much guaranteed you'll see at least one while on the water. It took us only about 10 minutes before we spotted a dark figure walking on the banks in the distance. So we powered down and gently made our way in for a closer look. Emerging from the trees, almost oblivious to our presence, rambled a huge black bear. His bloated stomach suggested he was well fed. So I wasn't worried about him jumping on the boat looking for an easy feed. Anyway, we had our trusty bear dog on the front deck to protect us. Can we go and take a close look? Come back there. Pink. Black bears are the smallest and most common species of bear. They must be fairly abundant because during the course of the tour, I saw at least five of them casually going about their business. These beautiful animals are omnivores and their diet varies massively according to the seasons. They're a huge predator and can reach 400 kilograms and over six foot in length. Their powerful jaws, sharp teeth and claws make them a formidable animal. But that said, they actually seem quite harmless and more interested in looking for berries and vegetation to eat. I said at the start of this, you haven't seen Canada until you've seen a bear in the wild. Well, I've seen a bunch of bears in the wild and I've seen them up close. This has been perfect. I have to admit, any encounter with a wild animal is pretty exhilarating. But when it's a creature surrounded by so much fear and legend, the experience is made all the more special.